It's Ash Wednesday. He's got some playoff basketball, and I got you know who back again. You already know. <laughs> but since it's Ash Wednesday, I'm super duper tired because can't eat meat today. I've been trying to consume as much bread and rice and stuff like that. So me and Greg, my phone's blowing up. Hey, you want to go grab a steak? <laughs> of course. <laughs> No, no steak dinners for your boy tonight. It is Valentine's Day, it is Ash Wednesday, and it is Seton Catholic versus South Point. Two Catholic schools, so I'm wondering like if uh, their energy levels are gonna be affected by the no meat today thing. Anyways, Greg here wants to go to Burger King, so we're gonna be checking back in from Burger King. It's raining and Greg decides to park like as far away from the door as possible. It never rains, I'm not used to having rain here. So anyways, Ash Wednesday. I went, I got my ashes, can you see them? I don't know if they're in focus or not. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to eat over here at Burger King. Hey, no meat today, what do you want to go eat? He says Burger King. The big game over here on Ray Road, Ray and Warner. Um, actually, I think it's a uh, Ray and Dobson. Ray and Dobson, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're at the Burger King right now, uh, and I had to find something to eat, so I got this uh, big fish jump off. I hope it's good. Me and Greg are discussing uh, South Point versus Seton. Um, these kids from South Point, they got some really good kids over there. Uh, Dang, and who's the other one? Uh, Evan Nelson, he's a sophomore. He's averaging like 24 and a half. But scored 34 in his last game against Washington. I'm fully expecting uh, the lead boys to go off. See the super talented Commander King has his uh, true flow coach. I don't know, I kind of want to take Seton by seven. I think I'm going to take Seton too. I mean, we've seen them play a couple times this year already, twice. You know, both times against Higley where they had to shut down Sean Robinson, they had to shut down Jason Harris. So I think they're, they, I don't know if they're going to have their hands full against Dang, but I mean, he's probably going to make an impact in the paint. Is Dang over or under 20 points tonight? Uh, I'd put them under. I think they play good, like, wow. I think they play good, solid, like, team defense, team Catholic, and they play in a good zone. I mean, Jason Harris couldn't get anything going from inside because he was so, you know, double team, triple team. And I think that's a good way to compare Dang to Harris or somewhat same size, around the same size. Um, He's a 6 8 Team USA kid. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I mean, I think seeing Catholic just plays you know, good team basketball and they know how to work the ball around offensively and you know, score the ball and play good defense. All right. Um, I don't know a lot about South Point, but I know that they're tough. I know that they're gritty, so um, I'm fully expecting them to show out. I know that Greg Rosenberg's a huge fan of Dang. I know he likes Evan Nelson, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to check back in, we're going to finish this food, and then we're going to head to the gym. kind of looks like Ed Sheeran though. Well, I got, I got the red hair. <laughs> so tell me everything that we need to know about Magic Majok Dang. Well, Did I pronounce it right? Majuk. Majuk. Magic Majuk Dang. One of the highest motors in the entire West Coast. 6'5", athletic freak. Jumps out of the building. He's a 3 and D guy for, for college. A very good passer. High, high energy. You'll see even on the sidelines, he'll be cheering. <laughs> when he's not in the game, he's just nice. that, that type of kid. Good to have one of them on, you know, LeBron was doing that, you know, yep. for his team uh, these past few games because he's hyped. Evan Nelson. He, he's one of the best scorers in the state. Oh, wow. He, he's To me, he's the number one guard outside of Nico Mannion. Oh, wow. No one knows him. Look, go look at the AIA right now. He's number one in the state. What's the Greg Rosenberg prediction for this game? I got South Point, Evan Nelson. Congratulations, Coach of the Year. I know, I know you got to feel good right now. Uh, Big matchup for South Point, but I know you're down two players. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's gonna be tough to be without Garrett and Chance tonight. But um, you know, this group has been resilient all year. You know, as far as the coach of the year, they, those kids, they're the ones that got me that award. They made me look good. So, you know, we're taking the same approach. We're gonna play together, we're gonna defend, we're gonna make things tough for South Point. I know Juke and Nelson are out there, back out there, and they're gonna wanna go hard. But, you know, we'll, we got a game plan and we'll get to it. Well, what's going to affect you more, uh, the being down two players or that it's Ash Wednesday and y'all can't eat meat? 
I would say the two players because they are they are two of our tougher players. They bring a, a and they're hungry and they're hungry and they're yeah. hungry and they're they bring a level of intensity that you know two guys we're gonna have other guys gonna have to step up and replace. How, how hard was it keeping uh, this seating team in check, this hot shooting seating team? Um, you know, our, our guys worked hard. <laughs> I just think we got the lead. We hit our free throws. Um, like to take a little better care of the ball, but uh, happy with the victory. Now, I know you guys are a Catholic school. You know, I'm curious, you know, where, where did Evan find all this energy from? Because I know you guys can't eat meat today because it's Wednesday. Uh, that's, that's a tough question for me. Um, he always plays with a lot of energy. As you, as you can see, a lot goes through him on our team, for sure. And Majuk Gang, he does so many things well. You know, what What are you going to need from both of these kids to move forward? Well, just for them to keep playing like they're playing. They're working really hard. They're improving each and every single day. Majuk's total game's really improved with defensive rebounding and uh, his defense. And I think he had maybe 11 in the fourth quarter, so he had a big fourth quarter for us tonight. Now, South Point isn't just a basketball school. It's a very well-rounded athletic uh, school. Are you guys riding the wave from football since you guys made the state championship? Well, uh, yeah, I think whenever teams are successful, I think uh, that helps our school out. It helps our program out. We've got Andrew Jacobs playing a lot of minutes from the football team. Yeah, I think it, you know it, it creates a winning environment for sure. You got the hot hands tonight, man. 27 big ones against Seton. You know, what was it in your game that just allowed you to green light them and just do them like that? Just the confidence, man. Knowing that nobody could guard me, nobody could guard my teammates. Just the confidence. All right, and what's on feet? Talk to me about what's on feet. Oh, this is the Curry. Curry three lows. Okay. I got myself about to have to get a new pair, man. Okay, so speaking of which, does that mean that you're rocking with Team Step for the All-Star Weekend for Team Step for Ooh, Team LeBron? Man, definitely got to go with Team Step. And moving forward in the state, you know, how important is it you and Majuki, you guys got the two-man game going on? That's just our main thing. We've been playing for a long time. We're brothers, so we just know that our connection is uh, unmatched on the court and nobody could uh, mess with it. Nobody. Uh, the biggest problem for Seton was a slow start. I think they had 16 points or something like that with just a, a couple of minutes left. 
in the first half. Uh, when you're an outside shooting team, you need to be hot from the get-go, and they weren't. And, and when they finally did heat up, uh, and you know, they, they brought Jackson Lee in off the bench. I think he had 19 of their 62. Maybe he should have been in the starting lineup. There's a lot of second guessing you can do, but one thing's for sure, uh, you weren't gonna hold Evan Nelson down all game long, and uh, and he really showed up in that third, fourth quarter. Also, the red zone wasn't really here in full until it seemed like the second quarter, and I know that uh, Seton kind of tries to ride their wave over there for yeah. the shooting section. I have, an, I have an issue with the AIA not making first round games free for all students. Uh, that's something that needs to change immediately. All sports, uh, because really what you're doing is you're punishing a team for being good. A team like South One, when they, they drove uh, two hours to get here, no students are gonna come because they're not gonna drive, spend the gas money on a weeknight and pay the ticket price. And Seton, you know, they got seniors. This was their last ever home game. Honestly, they should have, that should have been packed out because they should have been able to get in free. First round game should be free for students, period. You know, I kind of feel like that, you know, being two men down, messed up rotation, and it's Ash Wednesday. I was telling Commander King, like, not being able to eat meat today, it makes it hard on these guys. They gotta run up and down. Maybe, they're both Catholic schools though, both Catholic schools, so equally hard. I know you guys got that big game versus Sappers this, uh, this weekend, right? Uh, it's not too big of a game. I'm not, I'm not too worried. Oh man, come on. We'll come play I'm, hard, we'll play hard. We'll get on a roll, we'll start, start coming off right, you know. How, how close is it gonna be? Uh, if you were to predict, if you were to guess, like ballpark, like 15 points, 10 I'll points. Give, I'll give us 25. I'll give us all 25. All right, let's talk about something else, man. Uh, I know one of your classmates uh, over there at Valley, she's in a three-point uh, shooting competition, uh, Anna Gorman. Yeah. Oh, what, what, yeah. What do you think? What are her chances, uh, you know, making it all the way to the She can shoot the ball, man. She can shoot the ball. She put up, I mean, she put up 25 in the first half how many times this year. I mean, she's... In, in, a, in a game of horse, who's winning? You or Anna Gorman, be honest. No dunking allowed. <laughs> I might give it to Anna. I might give it to Anna. We'll see. If she were to suit up for the boys against Stafford, would she get in? Yes, she would. She'd definitely get in. She can play. She can hang. She can hang. Sen Senator Cameron over here. So, What's uh, up, guys? Yeah, yeah you already, already, already know. He's uh, the king of flip and flopping. Oh, you know? my God. <laughs> Choose team A, end up with team B, you know? That type of stuff. on my mind, so, man. <laughs> so, speaking of what's on your mind, I talk to me about. Uh, you know, South Point just played a hell of a game against Seton. You know, how far do you see them advancing? Oh man, that's, that team's really talented. And in the 4A, I think until you get to that big championship game, anything can happen. South Point can absolutely run the table on their side of the bracket. Okay, so they run the table on their side of the bracket. That means that they end up seeing Shadow Mountain. Can the South Point team beat Shadow Mountain? And if you have a Majuk Dang yep. and Evan Nelson going, going the whole game, like you have two dominant players at two major positions handling the ball a lot. Like you only need to sub three players. Exactly, and here's the thing. Evan Nelson was one of the best sophomore products I have seen this season. Goes up and down the court, can shoot, can get to the rim. These guys do a great job of spreading people out. So absolutely, I mean, this is a really talented South Point team.